first opened in 2002. There's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup between the Chicago Bears and the Detroit Lions. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. They'll be led out by their veteran quarterback coming off another 3,000-yard season. It's the 11-year man, Jay Cutler. If you ever want to get into a throwing contest, having Jay Cutler as your guy is a pretty good deal. This arm is absolutely amazing and astounding. He can zip it through anywhere and put it on anyone. The thing he wants now, though, is to win more games and win in the playoffs. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. Well, there they went blitz defensively, Charles, and things were paved well coming from the linebacker position. I love the way that you described it, paved well. Oftentimes, the guy who gets home on the blitz, he's going to get all the credit, but his teammates did all the dirty work, right? They ran into people on purpose. They sometimes tugged on jerseys to hold linemen to create space and gaps, and that play finished off really, really well. Well-conceived, well-designed, and even better executed. And the Lions going with an extra DB here on third down. And there's a flag on the play. And that is incomplete. Now Pat O'Donnell, the third-year man from Miami, to kick it away. Back deep for the Lions. It's Golden Tate. Now it's Tate. <laughs> 34 yards on the return. But for a moment, it looked like he had a shot to go all the way. And the Lions will have excellent field position here as they take over first and 10. To the right side to Eric Ebron. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. Well, where do you find that one in the playbook, Charles? You don't. You absolutely don't. And sometimes what happens is guys want to make a big play, and they turn it into a really bad one. Sometimes you're best just to cut your losses and go down. I hope we don't see another play like that. I'll guarantee you the offensive coordinator, he's going to get his play sheet. He can't find it either. Yeah, big loss there on the pass completion. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you go lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. But when your first NFL carries a 36-yard touchdown run with a really nifty move to get into the end zone, people expect big things out of you. And Amir Abdullah, they're waiting for him to fulfill that promise. They yeah, had the shoulder surgery in January, but really expected to be the man this year in Detroit. We'll give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. And that run was what a lot of people call an explosive run. Gave them good yardage, solid yardage. They feel good about the whole thing, and they did it behind a two tight end set. It's always interesting to watch what offenses want to do with the two tight ends. Sometimes they line them up together for a power set. Sometimes they put one on each side of the line of scrimmage to balance things out. No matter what, though, when you see two tight ends on the field, your first thought is to think run. In this case, the offense was able to run successfully. So here's the lineup, and in the backfield, it's Abdullah. Amir Abdullah, if it had been up to a lot of college coaches, would be an all-pro corner. But he knew he wanted to be a running back, and has proven why. Can run it, can catch it, and return kicks. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. And that'll be incomplete. The veteran tight end, Brandon Pettigrew, the target there. And it'll be third down. And here are the Chicago defensive starters. Brunel McPhee is a strong, run-stuffing outside linebacker who's beginning to blossom as a pass rusher. A 
nickel back added defensively as they look to stop this third and eight. Throwing on third down, Stafford. And he can't quite intercept it. Zone coverage, free safety was there. Couldn't come up with it, and now it's fourth down. Now it's Matt Prater on for the Lion field goal try. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. And Prater's kick is on the money. It's good. And the Lions are going to take a 3-0 lead. So they get the ball first here in front of the home crowd, under the lights, and they get three points out of it. And there's something about a night game, isn't there? A little extra snap, a little extra crisp in the air. What a terrific way to get things started. A little extra excitement, a little extra dazzle for the home crowd. Now the Bears offense ready to take over again. And on the first drive, three and out. I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. From the gun, it's Cutler. Jeffrey with a catch left side. Five yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up a second and 11. And with this offense, one guy to key in on defensively is Kevin White. Had to battle injuries at the start of his career, but boy, he's ready to fulfill his promise. An absolute beast downfield. So they complete the pass, and now they face a second down. On second down, Cutler finding time. And Miller with it over the middle. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. 23 yards on the play. Absolutely zero surprise at that throw we just saw. I mean, Jay Cutler has a whip for an arm. He's had it since he won a state title at Heritage Hills High School in Southern Indiana. Where in Southern Indiana, though? Well, he's born in Santa Claus. How about that? That's pretty strong yeah. right there. Nearby to my hometown of Evansville. Bet you've never been there, have you? I have not been there, but I'm looking forward to being invited for a holiday You're cheer. You're invited. Put that on your bucket list. Thank you. So just a lone field goal in this first quarter of play. 3-0 is our score. EA Sports NFL Sunday returns following this. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis back with you as it's Bears football here to begin quarter number two. But they face a second and long to start things out. On second down, here's Cutler. And he's got room. And he'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. It'll be a gain of nine, and they're going to have a third down. The lone setback is Langford. Third and two, now Cutler. He's got the hook up to Lee. And he gets it to the 34, good enough for the first. And now the passing game here in the second quarter starting to heat up a little bit. Don't you feel the rhythm starting to happen, right? You see it now, the confidence is starting to rise. I think now as a play caller, because that has happened, you lean on it a little bit more. You don't go totally away from running the football, but you do say, guess what? We can throw it, we can throw it well with a whole lot of confidence. But there's another example of why they haven't scored any points so far. I think it's time to abandon the run game, spread things out, and go to the air. It certainly can't be any worse than what they've done so far. Four yards on the pickup there, and now they're left with a third and eight. So Langford the carry there. Fourth round pick last year with Forte vacating to New York. A lot of the spotlight on Langford. A lot of running backs have possibilities in Chicago. If he can emerge and eat up carries, I think he'll produce in a big way. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, 
that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. And Gold is able to put it through, and that will tie us at 3-3. A little bit of a lower trajectory there on the deep kick, and it worked. Had to do it because he had to drive it out low because of the length of the kick. Able to do that, got it above the defense, and over the post. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point the kicker. Exactly. He put it through the post. That's going to help him in contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him in contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. Toe bash. I don't know about Toe that. Bash. <laughs> <laughs> Stafford nowhere to escape and he goes down Akeem Hicks he's the one that got to him he takes him down for a loss of nine well if an offense is going to throw the ball in this part of the field any pass rusher will tell you that's his favorite part it's a chance to get after the quarterback it's almost like a reverse red zone they can create points using their defense and this time they take their man down third down is the down both sides know they absolutely have to win and the name of the game for the defense is pressure on the quarterback but pressure on the quarterback with contact that's how you end up winning it so a short drop but he's able to get it out and this is a good kick a big kick there we'll call it 56 yards on the punt and the Bears take over now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I've never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive down with a kick. <laughs> Other than the extra point. That's it. Now Cutler looking to throw. He's got that one complete to Eddie Royal. And he's brought down after a good game. And time for us to take a break here in the booth. We'll come back to Ford Field after this. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Larry Ridley. Larry will have highlights and analysis of this first half. And guessing mostly defensive highlights that we will see. Yeah, and that's kind of cool. No touchdown scored yet so far. And none whatsoever. Now it's Cutler. Now Cutler in trouble. He lost the football. But the Bears look to get this one back, and indeed they did. So they'll keep possession. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Now Cutler to throw on second down. It's the first time Pro Bowler from a year ago. Ziggy Ansah in there to drop him for his second sack now here tonight. The first carry here for Jaquiz Rogers. And he's brought down. And now the Lions going to stop us momentarily as they call a timeout. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. And now a high kick trying to pin them back. And good hustle here as this is going to be blown dead right at the nine-yard line. And Detroit getting set to go now. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. And they're going to speed things up here. Now a play fake here on first down. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. Just a one-yard pickup on the play, and that'll make this a second down. 
completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. They come up in an empty set. Four wide receivers, one tight end. Here's Stafford. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. It's Tracy Porter with a pick. And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. Onto the field now come the Bears. And they'll be looking to avoid what happened last time, which is punting the football. But when you look at how teams play the game, that complimentary football comes into play. How do I take care of my defense? How do I take care of my offense? Well, the deep. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. On second down, Cutler. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. So third down, just one yard to go. It looked like they had something there, but I think that he was thinking about running with the football before he actually hauled it in, and that led to a big drop. They'll try to run for the first with Langford. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. On first down, it's Cutler. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. It'll be a two-yard gain, and that'll make it a second down. Right, I'm going to show my age here a little bit. We used to talk about running backs catching the ball as safety valves. Nowadays, they're a big part of the passing offense. Quit acting like you're so old. You're only 65. <laughs> Just a couple on the ground there. That's going to bring up third and about six. Defense thinking pass. They've got the nickel set out on third and six. Got it. And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. Got a little handsy there, defensive holding, Charles. And defenders will get away with as much as you will allow. The five-yard mark tells the officials where the line should be drawn. Throwing here, Cutler. That's caught at the three. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Kevin White as the first half is winding down. And the Bears are in for six. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. On the return, here comes Amir Abdullah. No, oh, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle him. Shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. And there's a good opportunity to just want to ride there. A drop pass. I guess that's why they call them running backs and not catching backs. The final shot before the break. Stanford. And this will be incomplete. One second left to go. And the offense looking to pick up the first down after the second down incompletion. They'll throw now on the final play. And his first throw since coming in is incomplete. 